Hi Capricorn, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and this is your weekly What the Fuck reading for the 1st to the 9th of February. I'm doing an extra couple of days because I'm going to switch up the day I'm going to be reading and uploading over the weekend because I'm back at university. Um, so um, I'm going to be posting stuff instead of Friday to Saturday night, I'm going to be posting stuff Saturday over into Sunday. Um, so everything is up and ready to go for your readings to start on the Monday. So your next lot will go up on the Sunday, ready for Monday the 9th. So I'm taking this right up to the 9th, um, just in case to give me a little bit of a buffer Capricorn. So lovelies, what the fuck reading coming up straight after the intro. Capricorn, thank you for coming to the channel. Um, yeah, newbies, welcome. People who've been with me a while, welcome back. Keep in mind these are general readings, lovely. They are, um, they're not meant for everybody. Take what you can, leave the rest. Could be something that's happened, something that is happening, or something that's going to happen. Um, and it may be even something that's happening around you. So kind of keep that in mind while we're going forward. And we're going to ask the deck if they can give us what the current situation is. What started the what the fuck. I am not taking that many cards, Capricorn. What on earth have you been up to? Right. I started the what the fuck for Capricorn, 1st to the 9th of February. the first aspect facing the fears and taking the fucking power back for Capricorn thank you and can I have the second aspect your wish fulfillment what you've been manifesting and why this may be fucked for Capricorn please about what they've been manifesting their wish fulfillment and why this may be fucked thank you and can I have their, their movement card their journey where the fuck they need to be for the fuck not that many for the 1st to the 9th of February 2020 for this general what the fuck reading for Capricorn. Thank you. Okay, we'll take both of those. Oh, what you can do about the situation. Capricorn do about the situation please okay can I have what the fuck they can't do about the situation what's out of their fucking hands what's out of Capricorn's hands for the 1st to the 9th of February Tell me about that Capricorn, it just 
give a fuck the reconnecting to the true you Capricorn and lastly <laughs> let's put those back the last one is what's happening next it's your outcome card so lovelies you've got now I did this the other day I saw a card in this position and I didn't understand why it was in that position. So I'm going to have a quick um, looky at that card. So I'm pretty sure I know the meaning of that card, but I don't understand why some cards come up in the position they come up in. And I need to, not so much the um, explanation, but the description sometimes throws a little bit of light on what it's trying to tell us. Okay, so okay, so it kind of like seems to me that you may have been experimenting Capricorn with your spirituality and been showing an awful lot of patience recently and it might have got sucked right up somebody's fucking nose yeah okay and it's kind of like I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting the idea now. I can see it from the other cards. Um, I'm kind of getting that you were standing in your power and you have been trying to teach people skills in the terms that they would understand, lovelies. You know your stuff, you do. There's no two ways about it. But what's got up somebody's nose is the terms in which you chose to explain it to them and I'm kind of getting the feeling that not only did it get up their nose it put their nose out of joint a little bit and I think you found that quite surprising Capricorn because normally Capricorns are really good teachers and I get that you get this you got this slightly wrong and it started a whole chain of events that has I think has knocked you a little bit sideways. So, your first aspect, facing your fears and taking the fucking power back, you have nature. Now, nature in this card is all about um, entrapment. It's about traps being set. It's about, is this natural? Is this a natural way of being, being trapped into something? Or is the natural way of being going and dancing with those nymphs at the back? That bear does not want to go and put his paw in that trap. And if that guy sets the trap right and the bear decides to go down that path, he's going to be entrapped. And I'm kind of getting the feeling that you feel a little bit trapped at the moment. You need to step out of that feeling, Capricorn. Because whatever this was, this was a misunderstanding. This wasn't something you did maliciously. This was something you said to somebody in all good faith, all good trust, and with good intentions, and somebody has taken it completely the wrong way. And it has disgruntled them, that's the word I'm getting. And kind of like, I think, don't feel they feel trapped, I think you feel trapped by this nasty situation that's kind of fermented from that one issue. So your second aspect, which is your wish fulfillment, your um, manifestation and why this may be fucked. Darlings, you've got the five of wands. Now the five of wands is about coming together collectively. 
um, for the greater good of something, for getting a project off the ground or completing a project, that sort of thing. Um, I'm kind of getting that maybe if you were in a five around this, it's going to be one of these guys that you've got up, up their nose. You really have got up their nose for some reason. And it, although you're doing really well, I'm just getting a little bit of discord. I don't normally find that with this card, but I am getting a little bit of disgruntled discord. And I think that to stand in your power and take this entrapment away, get rid of it. And this manifestation, this dream of yours of bringing people together for this project will get back on track. But the reason it's fucked right now is what happened here. And they may not have been directly involved in this. This may have been something completely separate from what you're trying to do. Um, but I'm kind of getting that um, there's a bit, there, somebody's nose is out of joint, definitely out of joint. So lovely, your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. Capricorn, you have got the Lord and Lady, that's you, that's the lady next to you. This is the lover's card. And it tells me that you need to be in a partnership, so I'm not getting, I didn't think that this was a partnership, I thought it was more, um, more collectively, more people around. But this is telling me that, Whoever this person is for you, whether it's male or female, um, that partnership holds sanctuary for you. They hold you dear. They hold your thoughts and feelings dear. And it's a place of protection for you to be. So this is where the fuck you need to be right now. Um, and not out of that union right now. So just behind that, um, Lord and Lady, you've got the page of chalices bringing messages in that you need to touch base with yourself. You need to dig down deep, Capricorn, and find the thing that you love. Find the thing that gives your heart joy and makes your soul sing. Now, that could be painting. It could be kayaking. It could be walking in the woods. It could be anything. Writing, singing, dancing, flying kites, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what it is, you need to get back to basics. You need to do what you love the most. And coupled with the lover's card, my darling, this union gives you the space to explore that. No, no problems at all. You find it a safe, calm place to be able to carry that out and, and kind of look for that. So love, then you've got the page of wands. This is what you can do about the situation. This is a message that you can come in with that wand and you can clear that debris out. You can get rid of that debris to make way for new stuff to come in. It's not going to come in very fast. You've got a donkey, not a steed. Um, but you can take your time. You can learn your magic. You can clear the whole of the rubbish out that has been created around you for some reason. And just behind... The page of wands you've got the ace of athames now this little card here this has got a beautiful meaning to it the when i look at this um athame i see the drawing down of energy from the sky i see this little field mouse mouse at the top of this dandelion and these beautiful little dandelion seeds going off as if they're wishes in the sky now, for anybody who knows me, knows that I love dandelions. They're the first food of spring to get our queen bees up and running so they can produce their hives. But this is a brand new beginning. It is bringing something towards you where once you've cleared out this shit and clutter, you have got this new beginning. This is, this is your wishes. This is your wishes and, and it's... It, this is what you're going to do about it. You, you're going to clear the way and allow this new beginning to come in wholeheartedly. So, love, this is what you can't do. You have the world tree. This is what you can't do about the situation. 
lovely the world tree is this wonderful tree you've got roots that go deep into the ground branches that go out as far as the eye can see and it tells you about success whatever you set out to do you, it's going to be successful so be careful who you are rubbing shoulders with who you're talking to because at the end of the day that tree is going to set you up it is, it's going to set you up, it's going to set you up positively and you are going to be able to lay down roots and you are going to be reaching to the sky um, and that's what you can't do about the situation so it could be that you want to get this project back on track but you need to go and have this time for you and your partner and this new beginning after you cleared out all the clutter is going to come in and you're going to see this tree, you're going to feel like this tree, you're going to feel that you're successful, you're going to feel that things are finally coming right. And also you've got all the four seasons on this, so this may take four seasons to sort itself out completely. And keeping in mind we're coming to the end of winter and into spring, so... Um, the four seasons would go really quickly for you in sorting this out. So the next card, lovely, is um, don't give a fuck the reconnecting to the true you. This is you. This is the high priest. The high priest is saying, come on, I know you can do it because I can do it. I am magical. I can conjure up protection from the stones. I can draw down energy from the sky. I can do all sorts of things spiritually but like you Capricorn they love to do it traditionally they love tradition whatever it is that you're you're getting into and this foundation that you're laying is you need to do it traditionally you need to go back to basics and that's how you're going to reconnect with the true you Capricorn your outcome card, lovelies, is the Lord of Shadow. When I put it down, I thought, oh, what are they going into shadow for? I think you're in shadow now. I really do. I think you're hiding away for some reason. And you are going to come out of shadow. You're going to be like this little butterfly here. And you are going to walk in the sun again. I just get the feeling that you maybe you needed to go off and just do a bit of healing on your own. That's what this card is about here. Um, but yeah, I get the feeling that you are going to step out of the shadows and that you are going to come back twice as strong, twice as triumphant with this wonderful new beginning that you've got. Capricorn, what a lovely reading. Let's just check the bottom of the deck. <laughs> you have the horned god. He's an advocate for everything in nature. He's skillful. He's a hunter, he's a gatherer, he's a nurturer, he's a caretaker. Um, and if that's your overall energy, Capricorn, that is what is going to be around you for the next week. Lovelies, have a great week and I will catch up with you in the next reading. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.